Hey guys! I am going to make a quick little video for you guys today. Um, I am going to be decluttering my entire house this year, so one of the areas that I decided I'm going to do first, so that I can start off on a good, a good note, <laughs> is my office space. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of what I did because it looks so much nicer now. Um, it's not 100% perfect, but at least now I know where everything is and everything is more in an organized matter. So I will go ahead and show you guys around. Alright, we'll go ahead and start in here. This was quite chaotic, but up here, um, these first ones, these are just photo albums. And then this is a box that my grandma made me. It has like my um, high school diploma and memory stuff from like high school in there. These are all my old planners that I've used over the years. So I keep those because it has all my memories and stuff in there. Then I have a whole good stack of photography type books there. Um, this I want to try and play. I don't know. It looks fun. This is my pile. Um, as far as papers from school, besides boring, like math and boring stuff like that, I keep all of Kira's papers here throughout the year. We're about halfway through. So this year she hasn't had a lot of papers come home. But um, I keep them here throughout the year, and then at the end of the year I'll go ahead and pull them all out, sit on the floor, keep just the good stuff, put it in a folder, and then go in a different cabinet with that. But, and then this is my work inbox. I do paperwork at the end of each month, and if it's for months in the future, they just stay in here until that is necessary. Then I just have stuff for that. <laughs> this looks funny, but I don't know why it's stored here, but this is a jab-jab thing, like defense mechanism. Um, as weird as it is, but... <sighs> yeah, so that's marketing material, etc. there. And then in these cabinets up here, I just have extra notebooks, journals, and stuff that I keep. My address book, um, my Bible's up here. And then I have my stickers, which is like dwindling down to nothing because I'm trying to use it. Um, I will give you guys a planner update soon, but this is... Just the stickers all I have left. Just sad. <laughs> this is my current client book. Keep all my client information, session information stays in this book. Um, I have some extra papers to add for when I do different things. Then these are all just books for work. And then this probably should be up there, but it's just a journal as well. And then that's where my camera lives. <laughs> um, there's not really anything on this side. These are just little notebooks from school. And then coloring books, and haha, <laughs> I have snacks, because I live in my office sometimes when it's busy. Here is where I normally keep my to-do list planner, but it's currently downstairs, which is fine. And then I have my new planner. I cannot wait to show you guys the new life that it's living. This corner over here, it's not exactly organized right now, but is where I have just my little notepads and some sticky notes um, to keep my planner up to date and then of course the computer you can see I have my card reader and then I have a couple um, storage thingies <laughs> yes the technical term for that is storage thingies then I have this cute lens cup I got from one of my clients back in the day and I keep all my pins in there if you know me I love pins I have lipstick here I really don't know I got this from a sticker shop on Etsy and I just loved how they wrote my name on there this review us on Google. Yeah, I don't know exactly where they're expecting me to put that at my house. And then I just have some knickknacks of stuff there. And then this is where I keep all my cards. And then my Wacom tablet for editing. And then I have some decorations on the wall. My mom just got me this for Christmas. Actually, I think she got it out of one of her coloring books, but perfect. Focus on God. See beauty today. Develop from the negatives and capture the good times. And then I colored it colors that I love. And then this quote was actually one that my brother recommended I put on my wall and I love it. Rise and rise again until lambs become lions. Which is great. And then this is one of my favorite quotes. Trust in the Lord and take it one day at a time. Great quote to have on your wall. And then my calendar for this year. My wall calendar. I need to buy one for downstairs too because I keep looking at the wall where I used to have one and it isn't there. <laughs> Let's see. Let me sit down for a minute. Alright, under here, this is all my paperwork from this year, well last 2018, um, I have to wait to file taxes until I get paid, and then once those are done then this will go away and, well, all the paperwork inside of it will go into my main 
binder or file cabinet there and then it'll be all set up for 2019. Under here I have useless things because I used to do CDs for photography to hand out the pictures but I no longer do that so yeah they're just there. <laughs> I have extra storage, my flash is here, envelopes and then a bunch of you know if you don't have a basket full of cords and stuff then are you really an adult? I don't know. <laughs> and there's my old calendar I need to figure out what to do with and then I've got a sticker thing back there. Oh yeah, I didn't say you this side of the desk under here. I have my bucket list always, always, always somewhere I can see it because, you know, if you don't have your goals where you can see them, then will you ever actually pursue them? I don't know. That's my thoughts. And then I have this note, which is things that make me happy. So I have a list of things at the top to do to make yourself feel happier and then 10 things that I love about myself, which is nice. And this is from my old planner, or my old calendar, but if you know me, you know I love Marilyn. So then over here we have my printer. Not super exciting there. Extra pens and pencils that I don't really use. So what I do is I keep my good pens that I use all the time up here. And if I get a new box of pens, then the ones that I don't like as much out of those pens go in here. And then at the end of the year when I declutter, the ones that I don't like go over to Dustin's desk. But... He doesn't need to know. And then I also have a um, paper cutter, just because straight lines are nice sometimes. I have some extra note, sticky notes things here, scissors, paper clips, um, you know, basic office supplies, whole punchers, staples, uh, these cute little clips that I've never, I thought I would use them, but uh, I don't know. They're cute, but they just kind of sit there. <laughs> I think I had tried to use them for a while, but they just kind of made my planner bulky. So we have letter head things um yeah just notepads lots of notepads and those are some cards and a calculator so not much exciting in the drawers and down here really nothing exciting i just have a notebook some more marketing material some extra ink not very exciting and the last thing really in my office is my box of craziness <laughs> I mean, really, though. But right here is stickers. So I got rid of most of my stickers. These are just some that I know for sure I'll use in my planner throughout the year. Um, under there is a buttload of sticky notes and notepads because I have an addiction and it's alright. It's alright. It's useful things, so. And here's all the washi tape I have. Basically, all that I'm going to be using in my planner this year, so keeping all of that there. And then up there is just stationery, so lots of cute cards, because one of my resolutions for the year is to do 52 letters this year, so that is that. But I will roll back here. <laughs> so there you have my office. I spend quite a bit of time here at different times throughout the year. It depends on um, schedule and whether I'm real busy or not, but... Sometimes I spend lots of hours, not as many as I used to when I um, used to do school, so. But I thought you guys might enjoy that and see where all the magic of my photography and stuff happens, so. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe, and watch for the next videos next week.